Well, hello, and welcome back to the end of the world. Uh, I think we... I want to say we already talked to everybody after what just went down with Ryoji. We can't go to Tartarus, and we're not going to go to town, so... Let's just go to bed. Let's just sleep on what we've uh, just been told. The whole world is going to end, and there's not a goddamn thing we can do about it. Killing him won't change anything. Except we could wipe our memories if we wanted to, so we could just live in peace. I don't know if that's a good trade. I heard some people saying that apathy syndrome is nothing to worry about. I heard the same thing. It puts people at ease, right? Yeah, it certainly does for me. You think it's some new religion? What, are you taking this seriously? Uh, no, of, of course not. Why would I take apathy syndrome seriously? It's just something that's been plaguing us for like a year now. Class has ended. Hmm. Hey, Suke, are you here for us to match things out with? No. What to do, what to do. We're almost out of time, so our options for a lot of these things... is kind of limited. I'm not... Like, if I started a new social link, one of the ones that I barely messed with, I definitely wouldn't have time to finish it. I think we've only got till March. That's when the in-game calendar ends. Where do we want to go? What do we want to do? The shrine? Maybe the sick man is there. <sighs> nope. Oh well, let's see what she's got going on. It's Maiko. Oh, hi! What are we going to play today? Sure. What is our social link rank? Only three. Good lord. The hanged man arcana. Hmm. None of those are useful. I'm pretty sure I've had all of those at some point, except for Hellbiker, which is an awesome name for a persona. Seems further power lies hidden. Yeah. Um, what should we do? Go eat some takoyaki? could learn more about her horrible backstory soon. Find out that her parents beat her or something. Oh, you're back? Oh, <laughs> it's Junpei. Oh, you're back. My bad. Could last night just have been a dream or something? No, probably not, huh? Nope. I don't think anyone really cares about exploring Tartarus. Um, is there something you want to ask me? Yeah, what about the increase in Persona users? According to Ryoji, the reason was because of your existence. You came here with Ryoji inside you, bringing us all together. As well as the shadows that had been dispersed to different locations. Hmm. So where did I come from? Was I always in the lab? Did I have parents there? Just what the hell is my backstory? My existence? Ten years ago, you happened to be present when Aegis and Ryoji were fighting. And for some reason, my 360 controller keeps, like, losing connection. I have to unplug it and plug it back in. Come on, controller. Work with me. Aegis couldn't defeat Ryoji, so she decided to seal him inside you. What a tragic fate. What a miserable fate. I feel bad for the guy. And stuck inside me. 
When you moved here, Ryoji began to awake, and the twelve shadows appeared. None of this really helps me. We should organize the information we already have. Is there anything you would like to know? Yeah, tell me what happened to Aegis. After the incident, Aegis was taken to the lab. The researchers are tending to her, but with the injuries she sustained, it's going to take a while. Okay, I kind of figured they'd be able to fix her. So, we know why she was hostile. Aegis lost her memories of the battle she waged with Ryoji ten years ago. However, I believe she still sensed that he was a shadow. An incredibly strong shadow she had fought before. Survival instincts. So why does Ryoji look human? That is an excellent question. Ryoji is a shadow. The same shadow Aegis sealed inside you ten years ago. Over those ten years though, that shadow changed. It gained the appearance and characteristics of a human. And that is why it gave us a choice. If you can even call it a choice. Everyone just needs some time. We're all confused and we need to make sense of what happened. So, can we avoid the fall? He said it's impossible. Nyx is death itself, so we can't avoid it. Or defeat it. Hmm. How do you beat death? What if we let Ryoji live? If we let Ryoji live, we'll have to face Nyx. And he said that Nyx is undefeatable. So then how can we win? I don't know. I don't think killing him is an option, though. And what if we kill him? The coming of the fall may be delayed by a little, but our memories related to the Dark Hour will disappear. It may be the easiest way, but I don't think I can do it. I agree. Eh, what can we do? I don't know. But I won't run away. I don't think any of us are going to. I was hoping this was all just a bad dream. I remember the other time I wished everything was a dream. Stupid Ryoji. Saying the world is gonna end out of nowhere? The appraiser? What the hell does that mean anyway? It's gonna judge us. We have to stay calm. If we panic, we won't be able to make the right choice. We have to think about what's going on. So what's the shadow's purpose? The shadows are pieces of Nyx, and their sole reason of existence is to revive her. Okay. So what's the appraiser? The appraiser is the one who summons Nyx. The appearance of the appraiser is a sign that the fall is near. And all humans will become members of the Lost. I guess everything that's happening right now is just the beginning. Just the beginning. Who is Nyx? According to Ryoji, it was Nyx who brought death to this planet. Nyx will turn every human being into a member of the Lost. And we'll all die. What if I don't think any of these options is acceptable? There's gotta be something we can come up with. It's like Junpei said, guys, we've never lost. <sighs> none, none of those losses you ever saw recorded actually counted. Those were just visions that we had of what not to do. Did you hear about Ryoji in class 2F? No, I didn't. What happened to him? His parents got transferred again so he won't be around anymore. So that's why I didn't see him. Well, that was sudden. So who is doing his paperwork? Somebody's got to be filing paperwork for his parents and stuff. Making up fake identities. Which agency is behind that? I feel like we're basically running around headless right now. Sup, Chihiro? Sure. 
help you with your homework? Yeah, sure, why not? Got nothing better to do. The missing fee money. No one's found it yet. No one said anything to me, but I know what they're all thinking. I can't take this anymore. I don't want to be here. S sorry. I, I shouldn't be saying things like this as a member of student council. I'm gonna check out some books. I'm a member of student council too though, so come on. So yeah, there's no way it could be anyone else. It has to be her. That girl in student council, you know, the sophomore with the long hair and glasses, the one who's always reading. I hear she stole the class's money. 2,500 yen per person, damn. I could buy a brand name purse with that much. I hear she has no father. There's no way they could have money, since her mom only works part time. How could it not be her? She has such an innocent face though. It's, we're gonna say something to him, why not? Just glare at him. The hell's wrong with you two? What do you want? Are you a friend of Chihiro's? Hmm, then again, maybe not. You don't look like you'd be hanging out with her. <sighs> Excuse me, this is the library. Please show some courtesy and shut your fucking mouths. The librarian snaps and kills all of you. <sighs> Let's just go outside. I'll tell you the whole story there. Librarians have their own personas that they can summon. I... I couldn't find it. She looks like she's about to cry. Let's get out of here. I honestly don't know if she stole it or not. I'm not going to assume that she's innocent. There's some very sus suspicious things going on. You heard that rumor going around the whole school, right? The only time I feel safe is when I'm with you, Jack. I have no one else to turn to in school. <sighs> Look, Chihiro. You need to talk to the teacher. Right. I gave the money to him, so I should ask for an explanation. But, but what if he thinks I'm accusing him of stealing? Now I'm scared. I, I may sound like I'm weak, but I'm fine. Really, I am. I don't think it's right for me to always be counting on you, Jack. Despite what she said, we sense that Chihiro needs our support more than ever. <sighs> Will she speak to the teacher? Will she just come clean and confess? I don't know what the hell is going to happen. Rank 8. Should definitely be able to max this one out. Excuse me. Does anyone want to go to Tartarus yet? Oh, it's you. Plump. Never mind. There's no point in asking someone else. Are you scared, Mitsuru? No, I'm not really scared. I just can't seem to comprehend all that has happened. I thought I would grow stronger after my father died, but I haven't. I wanted to hear Natsuki's voice, so I called her. She seemed to know there was something wrong. But I just couldn't tell her that the world was going to end soon. What should I do? We should go to Tartarus. Today's exchange rate is money. The spread of apathy syndrome is affecting the economy of the entire world at this point. Hmm. Thinking about it isn't going to change anything. I'm going to do some training. That's all I can do. Hmm. Okay. What are you doing, Yukari? Everything Ryoji was saying. 
Probably all because of my dad, huh? I'm gonna fight against the fall. Just like my dad did. If... If she would ever let us go... That is... We're not allowed to have fun. I'm ready to go see what is past floor 190, damn it. We kind of got cock-blocked last time by losing all six of our teammates. I probably, I probably could have soloed it. I'm going to assume that there was another 10 floors. I mean, you know they've got to at least go up to 200. If they stop at like 194 or 195, that'd be almost insulting. Sunday! What are you selling, Tanaka? It's a brand bag! And a chewing sole. No. That is definitely crap. Got far better things to spend my money on. Actually, I really don't. What's up? I wonder what Ryoji is doing right now. He seemed the most upset about the world coming to an end. Worrying about him won't change anything, though. Right. He doesn't look forward to the fall, either. I'm sure he wants the same thing we do. So what do we do about it? I was thinking about what Strega said. It reminds me a little of what Ryoji was talking about. So, they must have known something about the fall. Yeah, it gives me a bad feeling, though. It feels like we're being laughed at. I'm afraid there's nothing we can do about that. Let's just concentrate on Nyx for now. I just got a report from the lab. Apparently Aegis can be repaired. But they don't know exactly how long it will take. I see. She was seriously damaged, so... I'm relieved to hear that. Yeah, I hope she can come back soon. If you guys make me wait until she comes back before I can go to the tower... And be a little bit sad. This is so difficult. There must be something we can do. Probably not. We need to just accept our fate. How do you fight death? How do you kill death? Death is the destroyer of all worlds. It's inevitable. How do you just say no time out? What's up, sick man? Dying man. Oh, it's you. Why don't you have a seat? Okay. I'm gonna have a drink. Um. Henry's orange soda is so good. I'm shilling for it now. I'm doing better today. I know it probably looked pretty bad last time, right? I had been reading a book before we met that day. I got so absorbed in the reading that I forgot to close the window. I didn't realize how chilly it was. Do you read many books? It honestly depends on the book. I don't get pulled into a whole lot of books these days. <laughs> I can definitely relate to that. A bad book is a really big waste of time, because you have to get so far into it before you write it off. Almost like JRPGs, huh? I read a lot of books these days. I find that they're the easiest ways to spend my time, since I can get lost in a book's private world. Do you read books all the way to the end? If it's boring, I stop reading. I don't read the endings either, though. I think our reasons for doing so are different. I really get into the story and usually reach the end quickly, but I never want to finish it. Because if I finish the story, I'll be stuck here again. 
alone in my room. As Akinari, the person who can't escape his fate. Stories about hope or heroism. Those are the kind of books I read. So hopefully, if I do decide to finish reading them, I'll feel happy at the end when I come back here. But what if the story doesn't have a good happy ending? What if it's so bad you have to just throw the book away? And then never look back. Leave you more dead inside than before. The dying young man. I need to look up a wiki and find out the days that he is actually around, because I want to max his out for sure. Time is ruthless. It looks like the sun is already setting. I hope we have another chance to talk. As long as it's not just once a week. We're quickly running out of weeks. What are you so down for? Oh, it's you. Sorry, I was just daydreaming. I was thinking about what Shinji would say if I met him in heaven. Oh yeah, and what would he say? He probably won't say anything. He'll just punch me in the face. He's got a strong right hook, so I'm sure it's gonna hurt. You're probably right. I'd say it's about damn time. On the next episode of Phoenix Ranger Featherman R, episode 42, Sleep in My Arms. Love is for love for love's sake, but what about the battles? And now the news. I'm gonna save it in the video whenever we come back. I'm just gonna continue to grind away the days until Mix gets here and kills all of us. It's gonna be sooner than you think, I imagine.